Bonjour. Today it's Generation X one more time and that's going to be buckling up the circle. And let's hear it out from the boy. It's actually not anymore a gender thing, but it's a generation thing. So let's hear it out. Hi, my name is Jake. I'm 15 year old and I live in Virginia, small town where sport is the king. Every Friday night is an event. Everybody is waiting for it. And the captain of the team who is in my classroom, he is the best looking guy I know. The jawline, the chisel abs, all the girls want to be around him and all the boys wants to be his best friend. When I look at myself, not so good. I'm sort of chubby, definitely no chisel abs or jawline for that matter. Actually, maybe I like food too much and I'm really not sure how to create my own space when I see how popular he is and he's the king of attention. So really my question is, how do I prevent body image disorder? All right, you know what, Jake? First of all, you and I, we're gonna spend some time together on me because that should never even be something you should consider or something that should even be a problem in your mind. So let me give you five tips that will help you going through the process and understanding what's going on in your mind. And tip number one, look at your own beliefs. All right, what do I mean by that? You see, you're looking at this captain of the team as the example of life and the example because of the abs and the chiseled face and the, and the girls and the guys. This is not how it goes. What it is, it's an inspiration, it's great. You want to emulate that? That's why it's the same thing with like celebrity. You look at them, yes, some of the thing that they do, you like, maybe what they wear. Great, you can do that. But you're Jake with your own core value, your own beliefs, your own way of thinking. That's the value you're bringing to this world. Not everybody is meant to be the captain of the team with the power it represents and, you know, being on the field and having all this image of attracting you know all the, the, the crowds and everything it's about being him and that's his thing great but that's not yours yours is maybe in your education maybe you're great in biology science whatever makes you jake that's what you bring to this world you don't have to be alike you need to be you you need to actually separate and find your own space so let me get to tip number two actually demonstrate a self positive image what do I mean by that? Well, same thing here. You know, that's the thing now. You are finding the core value of you. Share it with others. Go and help maybe a kindergarten group, little kids, maybe the lady next to you that needs help. However you create your own space, but you're going to start realizing by providing value to someone else, you are becoming the captain of their team as this one is the representation of power for you, you will be power to someone else. That's how it works. Not everybody, again, is alike. So let's get to tip number three, which is a huge one. Express your feelings. You see, I come from a different culture. It's France, it's Paris. And here, you know, when I'm in Paris, I talk about my feelings. Yeah, we talk about it growing up. We want to know why we feel that way. Why are we so up and down and around? You know what? Because we are emotional beings. We are created that way. There is something natural about feeling happy one day and sad the other. But the difference is we express it. You see, that's a culture where we really talk about it. We ask questions because we want to know the bottom of the problem and how do I find a solution to this problem, which is not a problem. Emotions go up and down. Same thing here. You see, for some reason, and it seems like in the US it's very prevalent, is that when you're a boy, you don't cry. When you're a boy, you don't talk about feelings. When you're a boy, you got that. No, you don't get that at all. You get whatever you can get and there, there are days where they're gonna be down and you're gonna cry and you're gonna wonder why you feel that way and it's okay. So that's really something you wanna do that you wanna connect and maybe find out a mentor in order to actually talk with someone you trust, someone you can go back to and asking questions because you really value their opinion and they're gonna bring something back to you to really understanding the process of emotion. So now tip number four, and it's a huge one for so many of you out there, food is not the enemy. Yeah, I think I don't need to express it more than that. Yes, you know what, that's the thing. Again, let's compare culture to culture because we did that a couple of videos ago. 
You see, in France, for instance, actually the meal is a great time to connect. It's a time to meet your friends, to meet your family, to really understand, hey, what happened in your life? What's happening in yours? That's a moment to cherish and really enjoy together. And actually food itself. Remember, food is one of your five senses. Taste, enjoy it. Food is not the bad guy. Food is not here to make you fat. Food is actually here to nourish your body. And right now, you're a 15 year old boy. You're growing, your body needs that food because that's the only way you can grow to get your full height and body and everything. So don't look at it as the chiseled face and the abs. And you know what, Jake? If it really bothers you so much, then great. You know what? Maybe it's time to make, to put a plan together to make a step-by-step -step process that's gonna help you actually saying, all right, a little bit of a diet, maybe a little more workout, maybe a little more going to the gym, find someone to go with, it'll motivate you because it's not easy to wake up in the morning and wanting to go work out. So that's the thing. So please, food is not the enemy. I cannot repeat it as much. And talking about feeding, well, that's getting me to tip number five, feed your emotions. And you see from doing so, Join a group that is like-minded. Someone there you find you belong. Because when you belong, you know, we all have a sense where we need to belong. We're not made to be alone in this world. And people that say that, trust me, often it's really, if you look deep into, it's really not like that. We belong in groups. So go to a group, choose a group that you really think has the same mind, you know, and the same process of thinking go somewhere because when you learn, now you grow, you grow professionally, you grow personally, you grow in your studies and that's the process you need to go through. So instead of just letting yourself be in a corner somewhere, go for it, find people like you and you will see the difference. You're going to learn and grow and enjoy yourself and get into knowing who you are who the core of you is and who Jake is. All right, well, I hope those five tips have helped you. Of course, you know the drill. Post your questions at any time. And tomorrow, we are meeting again for more Image Impact Window.